Hey y'all. Sorry for the hot mess express look, but this is, so tomorrow will be three weeks since we had air conditioner issues. It is over 100 in Texas. And last Saturday, it finally crapped out. Full on crapped out. So I've been without my central heat, I mean, air, central heat and air since uh, last Saturday. They brought us this portable thing and it needs a window to vent and our house only has a bedroom window or the patio door. So um, it's in the bedroom, whatever. Anyway, so what am I up to? I finished my paw print quilt, so dang cute. Um, I am loving quilting again really am. Um, if you hold one second, I'll grab it. Let me put you on the pazaruni. Alright, here it is. Now, I can't hold up the thing for all of it because it's big. I didn't expect it to be this big. <laughs> so, isn't that cute? And the back is camo fleece. Because this one's going to a fundraiser event that raises the money for dogs and cats and whatever else to spay and neuter the pets. I did take a play out of Miss Janice's. Ugh, got hair in my mouth. Um, I got a out of Miss Janice's playbook. This does not have batting at all. I only used the fleece, and it's still thick. It's definitely going to keep you warm. Um, you know, a lot of people, like myself, are like, we don't need to use batting in Texas. It's hot. But on the other side of that thing, if you live in Texas, it is ice cold up in your house when your air conditioner works. Because I know we keep it like more temps. So, I mean, if it was going upstate or something, that'd be one thing, but as long as I'm putting them out down here, I'm just going to keep going with the fleece thing. So, you know, I will try to catch, I will try to catch those cells when I can. Um, currently, I am, I went to the massive book sale. It's called Friends of the Library Cell. And, um, my memo has told me, no, don't buy any books, um, for for content from you know biblical teaching stuff but I saw this one and I was like I'm gonna go ahead and get it because I want to get in it and study it this one's Charles Stanley and Charles Stanley I'm fairly new to um, but he is so good my one of my new favorites is um Vernon McGee and oh that's so good I know some of y'all are not the religious type so I, I'm going to try to keep this out of that now if you are the religious type wait till the end I have something for us um so yeah doing that and uh, working on the cross stitch commission piece, I can't do it right now. It is so hot. My arms are sticky from all the heat and I just, I'm not going to have it. I do put, I do use a desk, but still it's just way too hot for it. I, I can't get it done. Um, decided to turn our dining room into a hobby room, craft room. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and my sewing machine set up. I've got um, ironing set up. I, just, I cut fabric still at my bar. Or the island bar thingy. Um, because it's standing. And I can look down and see the numbers. I used to sit and cut. But I was like, am I really getting the best accurate cuts? So that's... That's been, you know, something I've been doing, trying to get better at, um, is to have, have that done. 
Because I feel like, I feel like if you sit to cut, you're only getting half an angle of it, you know? Um, but if you're standing over it, you can see it, line it up. Because I used to, I still do use a lot of the grid on my cutting mat. My cutting mat's almost to the point where you can't read it anymore. Um, but I have a dear church friend that is cleaning out her mom's home. And her dad gave a lot to the church, to their church. And they still have a ton left. And she said, asked me if, if I wanted any of this stuff. And I was like, yeah. Because um, I, I really want to get try to sell some quilts. Um, I also want to give quilts. Um, for those that don't know, I went back to my Cowboy Heritage Church. And that was because they voted the we voted the preacher out. And so um, the arena team had been falling behind. So they're trying to find ways to raise money. And I said, if I can make it happen, I will donate quilts. I am not going to donate crochet. Crochet is a hard, hard sell in Texas, where I'm at, personally. You know, some people are like, oh, it's simple. Well, okay, not for me. But I feel like quilts might have a chance. I just don't know. And I hate, I hate the people that come up to you, hey, how much is this? And you tell them a price, and they're like, I'll go to Walmart for that. Go to Walmart, boo-boo, go. But you're gonna see it's not gonna last. It will not last. It's just nonsense. We were at Sam's yesterday, and they were selling these little girl shirts. I think it had Dora on it. I'm not really sure with my cartoons anymore. But they put something, like an applique, that kind of looked crocheted, but super flat. It didn't have any, and, and I know crochet is the only thing that cannot be duplicated. There's not a machine to duplicate cross crochet. So I think they may have tried to do the other thing I started seeing is where they do the knitting chains and then fold it certain ways where it looks like crochet. I'm having a hard time trying to convey what I'm telling y'all. So anyway, I, I was like, what, what? And then the people are selling these crochet stuff like beyond cheap and my first thought is how many of this stuff is coming from a sweatshop in China I can't handle that these people deserve better than that and they're not getting the better so yeah okay so for those that need to go go ahead and go for the ones that want to stay I have um, a little book I want to use um, and I want to show it to you. Uh, so if you're anti-religion or anything, please go ahead and click off. Because I don't want you to feel like I'm forcing religion on you. I just wanted to share a neat find with you. So, when I went to this big old sale, um, I found this little book. And I kind of want to do a little reading in it. After a video or something. I don't know. We'll put it on the end for those that that can't handle religion and that's okay not everybody can't but the ones that do it's on us that to raise those to, to lift uplift those people to let them know that not only do we love them but God loves them so anyway it says what I learned from God while quilting and it's a little book so um, they're little they're little stories or whatever um, so I'm going to try to do one of the little stories at a time because it's only several pages. Well, about two or three pages. And, and if y'all don't like it, please comment below saying please don't do those no more. Because I'm serious. I want to do something for everybody. I want everybody to feel included. So, at the quilting frame. A local bank invited me to set up a quilting demonstration in their lobby. The day of the show we was scheduled to coincide with our town's prisoner prisoner pioneer celebration 
All kinds of nearly forgotten skills were on display throughout the town. Shoeing horses in the city park, making butter at the supermarket, milking cows by hand on the courthouse lawn. I arrived that morning before the, the bank was open and a security guard let me in. In about 10 minutes, I set up my PVC floor frame and st stretched my quilt across it. The bank provided portable room dividers for me to display other quilts as well. While I hung them, I considered the special memory that these works represented. I thought of the days I spent quilting at a community education center, smoothing out a friendship quilt I remembered showing the craft. Let me turn the page. To a new friend from Japan. Finally, as I arranged the grandmother's flower garden quilt, I imagined Grandma enjoying peaceful days at her quilting frame. By the time the bank unlocked the doors, I was ready for the crowd, armed with needle, threads, and a thimble. Hour after hour, people of all ages came to see my quilts. As they walked in the door, their eyes focused on my work in progress, a multicolored dressed and play pattern on a soft pink background. To my amusement, the people's reaction different, differed, usually depending on their ages. Children often clung to their mothers with one hand and stroked the quilt with the other. They sometimes said a word or two about the big blanket or pretty colors. Teenagers by contrast asked questions, Hey, isn't the stuff the, this the same my grandma likes to make? My great aunt Rachel quilted me one when I graduated from high school. Do you think it took her a long time? How do you stand to do such slow work? Older indoor adults inspired, inquired about my PVC frame. It isn't like that when I was young. And, How'd you get this quilt on here anyway? Do you set this thing up by yourself? Yup, I remember Mama's quilted frame, hung down from the ceiling. Did you ever see one of those? Now that's a real frame. Do y'all remember those? I know I've seen one come out of the ceiling. They're so cool. An older gentleman reminded me of my father. There's a lot of sisters of my family, he said, and of course they could all quilt. Every morning, every evening after supper, except for a Sunday, Mama and the girls would clear up the dishes, wash them, and sweep the floor. Then they lowered that quilted frame with a, which hung above the dining table. Spent a couple of hours before bedtime working on the quilt. Us boys be cleaning the hunting rifles or greasing our boots. Then were the good old times for us. I smiled in great agreement thinking, yes, quilting gives us so much more than quilts. I added this day at the bank to my list of treasured memories. Um, and then it goes in to explaining the quilting frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it as it shows in the book. And then um, if this is not something you're interested in, let me know. Um, Cause it does get, it goes into um, spiritual God and stuff like that. The quilting frame. People see different things when they look at my quilts. Some enjoy the warmth of the fabric without considering my talent. Some are impressed with the time I've spent. Surprisingly, some are interested in the frame that, that in the quilt itself. The uh, framework is a vital part of my labor, as in the moral framework of our lives. If I use a faulty frame, the tension of threads varies, and the resulting quilt will be less than perfect. God's template. He has showed you, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? to act justly and to love your mer and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your god micah 6 8 the binding stitch lord keep me on your framework so that my work is not in vain scrap bag post a sign at your quilting demonstration that says please do not touch the quilts or provide clean gloves for er, observers to wear when handling your quilts Remember not to touch your face before touching a quilt, since makeup can leave a permanent marker, permanent mark on the fabric. So that's how each of them go, and I know that's really long. Um, so I may have to rethink that a little bit, but I really honest opinions. Just give me the honest opinions. We won't have to do it every video, but I just want to add something different to our our my videos, and I would love to hear your feedback. I love you guys, and I hope you take lots of care. Stay cool in this heat. Bye, guys.